Hello, welcome to the dollhouse. I am the doll. And today I am going to be discussing how you look and how it influences the world outside of you and how you progress throughout life. Um, you have to dress for the, uh, the goal that you're trying to achieve. And if you've ever read, of course, I will reference the 48 Laws of Power all the time. Law number 34, be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king in order to be treated as one. So that means that if you show up to a job interview, you want to present yourself as your best. If, if you show up anywhere where you want something in exchange for your presence, show up with your best presence. And that's what this video is about, uh, maximizing your presence. Now, if you want to show up, there is a place, a time and place to show up looking ugly. There is a time and place for that. But when you are trying to gain favor, that is not the time to show up looking ugly. So I ran across a video today that I wanted to share with the dolls so that we can see uh, what not to do in plain sight. So I'm going to play it. Here is the update on the interview I just had. Um, so okay, I'm going to stop here because if you noticed the eye movement that this person just demonstrated. That is something that you want to avoid doing. To blink your eyes in that way, it is, I do, I do believe it is a learned behavior and it is something that people do to stand out. It's one of those TikTok ticks that people are doing. Do not jump on that bandwagon. I'm going to replay that motion with this person's eyes. So just don't do this. You, I just had. Um, don't do that. I'm going to let the video play, but I want to also point out that I believe that this is a trans man, which that there's nothing wrong with being that. If you want to be masculine presenting, though, if you want to be a little Ken doll, that's totally fine. Be the best version of that. Like show up, at least be like, if you're going into business, you want to you want to get a job, be like a little Michael J. Fox. And if you're a little bitty, like diminutive, masculine presenting person, pretend like you were, are someone like Napoleon. Would Napoleon show up with these obviously strange looking piercings that are so... Uh, so far away from what most people are used to and what most people like. No, he would not. You know, you want to be a leader and, and advance in life and win people over. Reconsider, reconsider the, these things, the piercings and the facial tics. Reconsider those. I would not recommend that. So I walk in, and this older guy is at a desk, and he looks me up and down, and I go, hi, I'm, you know, full name, uh, I'm here for the interview, and he goes, your full name, and I go, yep, that's me. He seemed a little disappointed for some reason, but I was trying to keep it cheerful and, you know, see if I still have my chance, I guess, um, but no, it turns out all of a sudden he actually hired someone and had this whole elaborate backstory for this person that he supposedly just hired and is giving a try, um, but if that elaborate, totally real person doesn't work out, guess who's getting a call? That's right, me. I'm the second choice. That's totally gonna happen when this very real person doesn't work out. So, um, that person is probably very nice. And I do sense that, um, another reason why the, the hiring manager or whoever she interviewed with said no, uh, internally said no, and pretended that he'd hired someone else is because this person looks like a liability. This person looks like the type of person that would get offended at just about anything and try to cancel your business online or try to sue you um, in the actual court. 
but the court of public opinion is just as damaging. So if you look like you could be a risk, people aren't going to take a risk on you beyond thinking that you might not show up. You know, maybe you won't be a good employee, but if you could potentially lose them more than that, you just aren't um, the type of, of candidate that attracts it does, you don't attract desire. You don't attract the type of interest that you, you want. And um, it's important that you, you know what kind of attention you want to attract. So I would not recommend those three things. Showing up with quirky, physical, uh, facial, or body tics. Um, Number two, showing up with wild piercings. And then number three, also visibly demonstrating that you do not care a whole lot about yourself or you don't hold yourself in a high esteem. So uh, you could be a risk to their business. Um, and that's just look looking a little bit disheveled, not combing your hair. I don't think that this person has combed their hair. Um, just overall not trying. So I hope this makes sense. Um, and you know, if you want to advance, consider normalizing yourself. And when I say normalizing yourself, I mean, really just being as appealing as you can to the most people possible. Doesn't that make sense? I mean, why would you want to try and be so unique that you limit yourself? Um, the more you, the more you relate to people, the more relatable you are to people, the more that they will relate to you. And the more that you can campaign for your position, your perspective. So, um, I hope this makes sense and that it compels you to reconsider facial piercings and understand that your outer world will, it will manifest based on what's happening inside of you in your inner world and if you look chaotic on the outside, people are going to think that you're chaotic on the inside. So even if you are chaotic on the outside, just fake it till you make it, okay? Because eventually, if you continue to order your world and order yourself, your inside will start to, to fall in line as well. You'll have discipline for your inner world because your outer world demands it. So... Um, as above, so below. That's one of the, the spiritual laws. As above, so below. Laws of the universe. And um, we here in the dollhouse, we adhere to those laws so that we can have harmony in our lives. So again, leave your thoughts in the comment section and I will be talking to you soon.